Joining me today is New Hampshire State Senator Jerry Little. So Jerry, um, the governor, or a Democrat, nominated you to be the commissioner of, of New Hampshire banking, the banking commissioner, um, and you're a Republican. And uh, you know, I, I know you're not sworn in, and I know you probably can't really talk too much about what your plans are because you're not, you're still a senator. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I want to talk about sort of the process um, th that you went through. Were you surprised to hear from her? Uh, no, since I put my name into the hat, it didn't, it didn't come as a surprise to me. Um, you know, nobody anticipated that the previous commissioner would be retiring. Uh, and when it happened, I sort of looked around and said, you know, I, I think I'm reasonably well qualified for that. I've got decades of service in the, in the banking industry. Uh, I've been active in the State House either as a reporter or working as a staff member for a governor or as a lobbyist for the banking industry and now as a state senator for over 30 years. So I know the process, I know the players. Um, uh, so it seemed to me that I had an ex excellent skill set to serve as bank commissioner and put my name into the hat. So I was very honored uh, when I got the phone call from the governor. Didn't know, you know what to expect. And there was a, a reasonable period of time between when I um, submitted my name and when I heard from the office. Um, and then it was like any other job interview. You know, it was made clear that there were several candidates that we were all being uh, considered and would all go through the same process. And honestly, it was like any other job that you would, well, not like any other job you would apply for. It you know, clearly is fairly high level. Uh, and the, the person doing the interview is the governor of the, of the state of New Hampshire. So it's not as though you're talking to the head of HR or something like right. that. Uh, and then once they um, decide that um, you might make you would make a good candidate, and they wanted to put you on the final final list, um, I was required to do a full financial disclosure form, uh, and uh, which was not really a form. It was I had to put together a notebook, uh, and then sat for a two-hour uh, interview with folks at uh, the um, state police headquarters with an investigator at state police, and then waited some more. And then the phone call came from the governor to please come in for a follow-up interview. And it was at that point in time that the job was offered and I accepted. Um, and then you have to go through the executive council yes. as well. Um, right. And that was longer. And that was a, that's a, a public hearing and it was a party line vote, as I recall, 3-2. Yeah, it was. And that surprised me a bit because I had had very long and good conversations with all five members of the, of the council. And, and I was really expecting you know, at least one, if not both, of the Democrats to uh, to support the nomination. Um, but when I sat back in reflection and thought about it, I understand, you know. And uh, there were articles in the media that I was the wrong person for the job simply because I had worked for the banking industry. Uh, yeah, t talk and, to me about that. Do you, yeah. Divorce yourself from you in this position. Do you think a lobbyist or somebody who is familiar uh, with the industry can come in and be the commissioner? Yes, I do. Just for the same reason that I felt that a lobbyist could serve as a state senator. I understand the oath of office that I take. I, I swear uh, that I will uphold the laws and the Constitution of the state of New Hampshire and the United States of America. I know what that oath means and I take it very seriously. So I absolutely believe that I can, that I can do that. I think I have done that extremely well as a state senator. So I also understand, however, the concerns. Um, you know, there was a, one of those online petitions uh, filed against me uh, where change.org asked people, they're writing it from all over the country, saying that simply, without knowing me, without asking me a single question, um, because- Just based on the appearance. Just based on my background, my former titles, yeah. That, um, that I was an improper person, that I was incapable of doing the job. And I would say to anybody f that, and, and very few people actually came up to me to have this conversation. But when they did, I said, so you know me. You know, this is about character, quality of character. It's about integrity. And it's about a skill set and knowledge base and ability to do, do the job. How have I been doing as a state senator? And everybody would say, and even the articles and the editorials in the newspaper said, without a doubt, this is probably the most genuine, honest, nicest guy you'll ever meet. And I'm not saying that to toot my own horn. I'm just reporting what the reporters have said. However, there's this 
appearance. Right. Um, and, and, I, I, and I just... I, I have to cut you off here because we, we've got to go to a break. Yeah. Uh, but w when we come back, we'll talk. finish that up. So please stay with us.